I previously made one of the best tutorials on how to use OBS Studios to record your screen. But let's be honest, the OBS interface can feel a bit boring, especially when you are live streaming. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to create a clean, professional box overlay like this one inside OBS Studios easily. For this setup, I'll be using a tool called Uno Overlay and you can actually get this by going to overlays.uno. It's super handy for adding stunning graphics and overlays directly into your OBS setup. No complex editing or coding is actually needed. With Uno Overlay, you can completely transform the look of your live stream from a plain layout to something that actually grabs attention. Now, one of the things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be leaving the link to Uno Overlay down in the description and also pinned in the comment section of this particular video so you can actually check it out and sign up. If you want to unlock the premium features and get access to unlimited overlay option, you can actually upgrade to the unlimited plan which costs about $2.99 and it's totally worth it if you are serious about improving your stream quality. You can also join their Discord community where you can share your feedback, get help and connect with other creators using overlay.uno. So stick around, I'll walk you through exactly how to set everything up step by step and by the end of this video your OBS live stream is going to look so much better. So to get started what you need to do is actually very simple right. So you need to just click on the first link that is pinned in my comment section just below this video and it's going to bring you to overlays.uno which is actually built for pros just like yourself. So what you need to do is to click on where it says sign up to actually set up an account put your email address right here your password comes in here and the affiliate code that is showing on your screen right now I'm going to put it in here and hit sign up to actually set up an account on overlays.uno. Well because I already have an account what I'm going to do is to click on where it says login, right? Put in my email address and my password and hit this login again and it's going to log me into my account right now. And this is what the dashboard looks like after you've actually created an account and logged into your account. Very easy and very simple to, to do, right? So what you need to do is to come here where it says library, right? And you see all the overlays that are available on overlays.uno. There are actually nine results that are actually available right here. So you see all of them, right? I kind of like this webcam border nitrogen, right? That actually floats around your screen. So but what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be using this right now. So um, I can click on this, right? And click on where it says add to my overlays and it's going to add it to my library of overlays right now this is another one i'm sure that if you are a football fan you might actually find you'll actually recognize something like this you can also create something like this right but if you are doing sports streaming and things like that okay so these are interviews sort of right this is a quiz show you know for three persons on the screen this is like an interview kind of thing where you have two persons on the screen you know this one three persons on the screen right and all of these things so this is actually amazing right it's actually amazing so let's say we want to work with this or we can actually click on this as well and add it on the screen as well so let's say i uh, click on this right and add it to my overlays as well so we can decide the one that we actually want to use at the end of the day so let's add this as well right add so we, add, we added three to our, our library so i'm going to come here to my overlays right and it's going to show me everything that i've added into my overlays right now so let's say i want to work with this for instance i'm going to click i'm going to click on these three dots right here and click on where it says open and this is going to open so we can actually customize this right to actually suit our purpose so let's say we want to work with this for instance right so what i have in mind is that i'm going to have a picture of a video of myself making a presentation and my slides is going to show on this other part of the screen right so this is where you control everything you know so you can put everything off you can put everything back on so the background the location box everything right so when you put this off you see exactly what it controls this controls the background right put it back on the location box when you put it off you see exactly what it controls so it controls this right here you know the location where this person is actually located that's that's what so i don't think i want this so i'm gonna take this off okay so i think um okay yeah, let me leave it on so names names of the persons that is on the screen so i can put it off or on and ticker which is what was showing right here so i can put it off or on right so the background you can actually control the background right here because it's on you can even turn it off here independently if you want to so background you can have an image in the background or you can have a color in the background so whatever that you want right so i don't i've not prepared an image for this so i'm going to use color instead so what color do i use right now so i kind of like this right so let's say i want to use a different color so i can just copy the code of this color just in case i want to revert back to it so i'm going to click on this and choose a different color if i want to so let's say for instance i want something else to completely different i can choose that from here i can come here and choose whatever it is that i want right or if you have the color code that you actually want to use you can actually do that so i want to use this so let me uh let's make it very dark tick something close to black 
so you can stack your exam so this i think i like this right location box the location where this is located so this one i'm going to say online hustle studios studios right then this one i'm going to take this off completely so we have online hustle studios and nothing here right or teaching slides teaching slides i'm going to have teaching slides okay let's just have slides so this is this is slides right so it's slides are going to show here the online hustle studio is going to show right here so names right the names of the people on the screen so right here on the left you have thomas smith so i'm going to say gerald which is my name right so okay on the bottom of it i'm going to say founder and ceo online hustle okay so Catherine jones this one teaching slides so i'm gonna remove this so tika which is this stuff that is showing right here that keeps moving right so i'm gonna select this so what's the title of this ticker latest news what you will learn what what you will learn i'm gonna come here and say how to really make money online in 2026 that's what you're gonna learn right i'm gonna put that here so if you want this to move faster you can increase the speed right if you want this to actually roll faster you can increase the speed you want it slower you can you can decrease the speed and it actually ticks slower right so whichever that suits you message spacing the spaces between the messages you can control that as well from here you want the ticker left to right or right to left i like it the way it is i'm going to be touching this right a separate logo if you want a separate logo you can actually do all of this you can actually control everything right here right so the next thing is to customize you know you can customize the colors the primary colors the all of these things so i'm going to be leaving it the way it is because i don't think i want to tamper with this right now so the next thing I need to do is to come here. You don't need to do anything in setting. Just leave this alone for now, unless you can actually change the theme. So me, I like my screen being dark, you know. So I'm going to come here and click on where it says output settings, right? So you can actually play around with the landscape, but this is for YouTube basically. So it's 16 by 9, it's 20. Background color, transparent, whatever. I'm going to leave this alone. So I'm going to click on where it says copy output URL, right? Very important. So I'm going to be keeping this very safe. So what I'm going to do is to open a notepad, notepad document and drop this URL right here. I'm going to be coming back to this in a little while, right? So the next thing we need to do is to go to obsstudio.com. If you click on the second link that is pinned in my comment section below, it's going to bring you to obsstudio.com as a matter of fact i've made a more detailed video showing you guys exactly how to set up how to download and set up obs you know so you can actually use to record your screen but this is more about streaming right so once you come to obs studio you can actually download obs on windows mac or linux right and it's completely free it's open source so i'm going to be clicking on download right now i'm going to click on windows right now and this download is going to start and OBS is going to start downloading right now to my local computer. And once it's done, I'm, I'm going to be installing it. So why this download is happening, it's important that if you are seeing me for the first time, that you smash the like button on this video. Subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, turn on the notification button so that when I drop more amazing videos, just like what you're watching right now, YouTube is going to send you a notification instantly. And if you happen to have any questions at any, at any point in time, let me know in the comment section as I'm going to be there here to answer all of your questions. So that's it, guys. Let's jump right in. I've actually installed OBS successfully on my computer right now and just where i taught you guys in that video on how to do it that's exactly what i did so what we all need to do right now is to open obs up and you're going to see an interface that looks like this this place is black dark nothing is happening right here so we need to fix it so that something will start happening right now so what i'm going to do is to come here where it says scenes right and and create a tutorial i'm streaming a tutorial basically so i do that right so i'm going to come here right now under sources i'm going to click on this arrow i'm going to click on browser so browser i'm going to click ok i'm going to create a browser so you see this url right we're going to go and copy the url that we copy from overlays or uno copy it bring it here and drop it in here right the next thing for us to do is to edit this our resolution so it's 1920 right we are 1080 so it depends on the resolution that you are actually using so i'm going to select this now scroll down you see the way where it has custom css i'm going to delete custom css right i'm going to hit ok and this is it right this is what, what we created basically so this is where gerald is going to show and teaching slides is going to show here so let's make it work right now because it's not working everywhere is still black right so you're wondering how does this actually work so what i'm going to do is to come here under sources i'm going to click on this plus icon i'm going to come here to video capture device right then i'm going to say i'm going to click say okay right 
and this is a video of me right now making this video right now yeah so obs is capturing this so what i'm going to do is to come here and hit ok now it's covering everywhere we don't want to cover everywhere so i'm we're going to uh, drag this into space into place rather right i'm going to bring this down a bit then move this to the right a bit now i'm going to hold the shift button on my keyboard and hold this and drag to this particular space and this is it this is only what it looks like so oh, we are good on this front so this is me so when i'm doing a stream i'm teaching something live right i want this to actually show like this on the screen so it's not boring and my slides are going to show right here easy peasy right so what are those slides so let's say for instance i'm teaching something about i don't know something or something so what i'm going to do is to come here and hit this and say a display capture because i want to display something so i'm going to select this so what is it that i want to display so i want to be able to show my screen right here so this is my primary monitor i want to show my laptop screen right here so i'm going to hit ok so what i'm going to do is to bring this down like this so this is what is going to show my laptop screen is going to show right here so anything on my screen is what is going to be showing right here right so let me take this up a bit okay so i'm going to hold shift and drag this into position so my laptop screen is going to show up right here why my picture shows up right here so i have two different capture devices right now yeah so this is one thing that you can do you want to show your screen right so let's say for instance i don't want to show my screen right here so i'm going to delete this right uh this is an option the second option is to come here and say i want to put in an image right here or an image slideshow or media source or whatever it is right so i want to work with image right now i'm going to click on this and i'm going to say okay so what image do i want to put here i'm going to click on browse and go to my computer right now i'm going to double click, click double tap this image and hit okay so i can right click on this and go to where it says uh, transform i'm going to go to where it says transform and come here and say stretch to screen right so i'm going to make this a little smaller then bring it into this space right so what i'm teaching right now is about how to get a U uh, a canada visa approved that's what i'm teaching right here right now so this is me talking and this is where my uh, teaching aids is actually showing my slides all of those things is showing right here right so that's exactly that's exactly how to get this thing done and an interesting thing is that you can actually control everything that's happening right here using obs studio so you want to see what this actually looks like and go to studio mode right to actually see what it looks like so this is your production and this is your program itself this is the preview right and this is the program itself you know so this is exactly what it's going to look like you know out there when you're actually streaming on twitch you know whatever it is that you actually decide to stream at the end of the day right so you can actually control all of this inside of overlays.uno so you can just come to overlays.uno right this is what you've done you can come here to control and if you come here and say you want to put up the location box right so let's go to uh here let's go come here you see the locations location slides is gone Right, those things showing up right here is going so you can control all of these inside of overlays of uno so let's say i want to turn this back on right once i turn it on it shows right here inside obs instantly right you want to turn off the background right background disappears you want to turn it back on i think it's actually better in black because it makes this actually pop out a lot more so i'm going to turn it off so the names one the names gone you can click on this and the names are gone we want the tickers gone click on this and the tickers are gone right so you can actually control a whole lot of things i think this is actually better without the tickers actually right so this this actually makes a whole lot more sense so that's how easy it is to do right so another thing that you can do inside of inside of obs right now is to come here and create another scene right create another scene and call it uh, football or news or whatever right click on create another scene and inside of this scene right now you see that this scene is not this scene is blank we actually come to overlays.uno and create this scene. So let's go back to overlays.uno. Come here and let's say we want to work with this now. I'm going to click on it or just click on these three dots and hit open right now. So we can customize this the way that you actually saw me do it before. Right? You want to customize this real quick. So join our Discord server. Thanks for using overlays.uno. So you can actually come here and there is a webcam border. So customize the settings. Customize. So I can say uh, thank you for joining my live stream so i can say thank you for joining my li live stream one is at the bottom one is at the top you want this whatever it is that you want it right you want the text off or on so this is a border basically right so i'm going to come here and hit output settings again i'm going to copy the output url 
and come straight to, to um, OBS, right? So I'm going to click here under sources, come to browser, then I'm browser to hit this, right? So double tap this guy and drop this in here, right? So width 1920, uh, height 1080, this is my resolution, right? So this uh, custom CS, I'm going to delete it. So that's all you need to do right here and hit OK. Right, and you see that the new scene is going to show up right here, right? And I see this border. I'll thank you for joining our live stream and all of that, right? So the next thing you need to do is to add your um image capture video capture device right here. So it's just me right now. Video capture device to this is me right now. So and uh, this is fine. I'm gonna hit OK. So I'm gonna get this to fit into the size that we've created. So I'm gonna hold click here. I'm gonna bring the cursor here, hold shift and drag it. To this space right i'm going to take this up a bit as well to make sure it fits into this space now this is it so you can actually move between scenes you can transition this so you see this actually shows up right here transition this as well it shows up right here so this is how easy it is to do you can use this for your news broadcast you can use this for church broadcast live stream all of those things it's very easy to do and very seamless you send me do it and i can assure you that if you do the exact same thing you've seen me do you're going to be getting the exact same result it's that easy and that simple to do right and the interesting thing is that you can actually control everything inside of overlays.uno right here right so right here you are limited to just nine overlays right and there are overlays in the baseline which are not here which are not available to you bulk overlays are not available to you full screen is just one that's available to you image loop is not available to you as well lower third not available to you package right it's just seven that's available to you right here and of course panel as well is not available to you so if you want all of this available all you need to do is to upgrade your account upgrade your subscription on overlays dot uno and all you need to do is so this is where you are right now the free plan and this is the uno plus plan right which will give you everything in uno free no ads 100 mb image storage you can actually bring your own image into this display variant and also you can also edit your presets right so all you need to do is to subscribe now so you're just paying one dollar and 99 cent per month which translates to 23.88 dollars per year and you can save 33 percent right and all you need to do right now to actually take advantage of it, of this is to click on the first link in my comment section just below this video and once you click on it it's going to take bring you to overlay.uno and you can actually sign up for this offer before it elapses